start, I'm finish. Alright, so for this video, what I'm shooting for is a stretch playmaker. Now, the only reason why I'm making the stretch playmaker right now is because I know it's gonna be one of the popular builds that people look up because of Duke Dennis, bro. And Duke Dennis, he seemed like a cool person. You made good content. But when it comes to the builds, bro, I sit here for hours. Like I know Duke just goes through there, whatever feels good on the first take, he just runs with. And then makes tons of videos on the build and they just do good. Now, I feel like I could make it better because I seen his video and I already made one before that I was like, my stretch playmaker could look a little better than that one. So we're gonna try to rebuild it. I'm gonna try to get my version of it and tell me if you guys like it. So he went with this pie chart, the balance between shooting and playmaking. Now I would choose this one. Now you don't get Hall of Fame playmaking. Note that, but you're gonna see why I chose this pie chart. Mind you, with this build, you're gonna be trying to ISO score the ball, spot up. You're not gonna be playing hardcore defense or trying to play center or grab a board. So choose the most speed. Now, as for the finishing, I would say just leave it with one finishing. Because it takes way too much out of the attributes just to get two finishing, bro. And it's not worth it. So as for the shooting, we're not going to max out the shooting upgrades, but we will get a lot of them. All right. So here we're going to go up till we hit 23 shooting. You can get 26 out of this. All right. Now we're going to get the most playmaking we can, which is 20. We're going to put up these first. Here, here. For the sake of badge upgrades for your defense and trying to stop somebody on a hop step, we're going to value our interior defense over our steal. I know the steal matters for your passing lane steals, but we're going to do this, all right? So we have seven defensive. We got 23 shooting and 20 playmaking. All right, one finishing, You, it's not worth it trying to get all that finishing, like I said. Now here, choose whatever body style. Go down to 6'7", bro. Do not go 6'8", because you're a driving dunk. And you're driving layup and your ball control is going to take a massive hit so go down to six seven as for the weight i mean you're trying to be as fast as you can you're trying to iso with the build why did you put your interior defense up bro just because it gives us more upgrades so let's go here with it we'll go minimum weight now wingspan this is what we're going to do with our wingspan coach because in dukes he went six eight and he minimized his wingspan i believe and when he did that bro he barely hit a 70 ball control Look at your driving dunk, bro. You ain't got no driving dunk. It ain't going to hit nothing. So we're going to go down to 6'7". Minimum weight. We're going to go here. We are going to max our wingspan. Max our wingspan. We are 6'7 with max wingspan, bro. And we have a 73 ball control off the rip. All right. And then our three-pointer. And I like it. Like I said in my previous video, if this works where we get plus four after 95, or plus five basically at 99.9 if it's still like that you're gonna have a mid a mid 80 for your shooting you're gonna have above a 70 for your driving dunk your ball control is gonna be at what a 70 77 78 this build is gonna be good max wingspan on any build now i would say choose playmaking just so you can speed boost now we got a stretch playmaker so let me know what y'all think i did my best on this build let me know if i did just did it justice like the video turn on the notifications bro we're about to i say we hit a few thousand subs within these next like within these next two weeks bro i appreciate y'all and until next time i'm out